So I just wanted to do a quick demo with this pen. This is the Big Eye Design Thai Ardo EDC Titanium Pen. Bought it a little while ago. It's pretty expensive, it's about $90. Uh, but the cool thing about this pen is it's designed to accommodate basically any refill you want to throw at it. So if you like Parker style G2 refills, if you like uh, you know D1 tiny little refills, no matter what you want, it should fit. So I wanted to show everyone how that works. So it's just not immediately clear from the website. And then I'll do a review of this pen later on. I'm still getting my head around it. Uh, so basically the way the Thai Ardo EDC and the Thai Ardo, which is the other model, it's a little bit larger, work is that the pen has two screw sides. So basically this side screws and this side screws. Uh, this side screws to, has a coarse screw and it moves this end out. This side screws and it tightens and loosens this collar right here. And it's not immediately clear what this is, but basically it has those four little arms and they grab on to the end of your grip. So basically the length of the grip doesn't matter because this little collar here is grabbing it. So all this side has to do is expand out to fit not only how you like your pen, longer or shorter, but basically has to have enough room for the refill. So to change refills, you just need to remove this collar. And you can see here, that's just the, the bit from a, uh, a Parker style G2 refill. And basically you open this up and that loosens that grip, the same with a power drill. So I have this uh, Schneider grip and this is the Schneider refill. This is how the pen came. And it came with this gross like lithium grease or whatever this is on there. I'm not really super thrilled about that, but that's just how it shipped to me. Anyway, we'll put that off to the side and let's find another refill. Here, this is a Zebra refill. This is a tiny little D1 refill. It's about as small as you're gonna get. So basically you could put this in here to open this up a little bit. Get the tip where you want and tighten it down. You can get it pretty close, but you have to be careful so now it's gonna slip in and out while you're adjusting it. So it's really about getting it close to where you want and keeping it out of those arms so it doesn't get pinched in there, which then you won't be able to get it as closed as you want. Get the tip where you want. It's a little bit of a finesse operation. And squeeze it down. And you tighten it. You can give it a pretty good crank because this is just a little bit of uh, whatever the pen tip is made out of, probably steel or carbide or something like that. Uh, so you could squeeze it pretty good. And now you have a D1 refill in there and it's quite secure. And now what you could do is put this piece back on and the preference, and like basically you could leave it here if you want a larger pen or since that D1 is so short, you could crank this piece in and keep this pen a little bit shorter if that's how you like it. Uh, we'll remove this end and open up the collar there. D1 falls out. Now let's move over to another refill. I haven't tried this one yet, so it should be interesting to see. This is a uh, Pilot Juice Up, great pen. And I actually don't love the body here, but I love how it writes, so it'll be a good example. And now this is a very large refill. This is larger than a Pilot G2 refill. So just for comparison purposes, not quite twice as long, but it's getting there. So it's longer than the stock body of this pen. And the problem won't really be the length of the refill. It'll be usually any restrictions will be down to here. And this little collar can fit uh, shafts that are between 1.6 and 3.7 millimeters. 
So put this in and got to figure out where we want this. So I'll loosen a little bit more and pretty good fit. Give it a crank. I'm not going to go super tight on this one, but it is a plastic piece at the end there. Crank this down. And there you have it. This is the Thai Ardo EDC with a juice up refill in there. And, uh, you know, maybe aesthetically you don't like the juice up, but it will write nicely. So that's a great refill. And I found that the grip here is actually quite good. And because, uh, because of the way it grips, you never have any rattle here. And the rattle of the tip is like the, probably for me, like the number one reason I, I think uh, stock refills, or like a lot of people use stock refills because having a, a tip rattle is super annoying. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, I would show more, but this is a really good extreme and you can go anything from a uh, this Parker G2 style refill to a D1 to uh, the really big guys from uh, Mont Blanc and stuff like that. It's all gonna fit. Uh, so expensive pen, but a lot of versatility. Check back for the full review. Thanks for watching.